Hello guys, today I want to speak about the EMI filters and the free beat filters. What is that? What is the application? And what is the structure? And why we should uh, use the, this kind of the filters? This kind of the filters actually uh, place on the input of the each appliances or the, for example, especially in the power supply, switching power supply or medical instruments for the remove uh, the noises that came from the electrical power lines. So if this kind of the filter is constants from the inductor and the one capacitors so uh, I will uh, show you in the slides and I will explain it which components uh, what for example what's the uh, uh, performance under these kind of the filters so uh, let's go to show you the this kind of the filters and after that is uh, first of all you should know if you have the one inductor that's uh, we say for example the L uh, we have the one rectons like as XL XL show you the, the formula is the 2 pi uh, times to the frequency times to the uh, amount of the inductor so uh, if you look at the between the relative between the frequency and the inductive reactance it means if the frequency go up uh, what happened for the XL? It means the XL is, of course, is increased. What is the inductive reactance? Reactance means the like as amplitudes. You uh, the amplitudes increase. It means the frequency increase. Amplitudes is increased. So the low frequency can pass, and the high frequency phase to the high amplitudes, or you have the attenuation. So, uh, in comparison between the and the, uh, one inductor, we have the capacitor. Capacitors, the uh, you know in the one capacitors uh, reactance, it means the formula is the one divided to the two pi times to the frequency and the C. Uh, capacity actually the the real the relative between the frequency and xl is the reverse it means if the frequency go up and the xc go down it means this one is the one actually high frequency pass so this one is high frequency pass and this one is the uh, low frequency pass this one and this one can be connect to each other and make the one lc filter lc filter is like as for example is like as this when for example you want to pass a special specifically one frequency as you know the frequency of the power line is the 50 hertz between the 50 until uh, 60 hertz so if we have the this kind of the figure if you know about the frequency of power line we can remove the all kind of the noises so let's go for the slides and i will explain about the structure of the emi filters and these kind of the actually components uh, how for example working in the these kind of the filters but you must know about the structure and the, this kind of the formula in the these uh, filters let's go uh, guys electromagnetic interface emi or the power line filters what's the application and what is the a function of each component in this kind of the filters actually you can buy it separately like as the one module if you look at it, these pictures actually and you can design it on your board directly that is the usually you can design it and this one is the very common that you have it on your own board and of course you can find it in the some a plug and some sockets that you can find the EMI filters inside it why we should use this kind of the filters actually your uh, power line is uh, the electrical power came from the many transformators that's this kind of the transformators decrease the voltage and of course the electrical power pass from the many wire actually this kind of the noise 
is based on the induction effect from the transformator and this kind of the transformator affected the power line and you must to remove it because this kind of the noise directly go to the any appliances or accurate equipment especially in the medical or for example the power switching circuits actually so then because of the remove this kind of the noise we use the emi filters so it, what, where is exactly is placed this kind of the filters in your circuits and where you should design and place this kind of the filters actually the, this kind of the filters as you can see in these pictures is based on the input voltage and before the rectifiers diode it means in the first stage of your circuits you must to eliminate this kind of the noise if you want to have high quality for example the this one is the power switching circuits so because of this i want to remove the noise at the first what is the structure of the EMI filters? Actually, the EMI filters is based on the two kind of the noises. One of them is the differential mode noise and one of them is the common mode noise. If you imagine this one is the phase and this one is the null and this one is the ground. Actually, two kind of the noise came from the phase and one of them is differential mode noise if you follow this blue arrow actually pass from the this kind of the trans and will be eliminated from the cx2 uh, and it will be filters from the these lines that is the null actually it means the differential mode noise it will be eliminated by the null pass and the common mode noise go from the phase and after the pass from the this transformator usually will be filtered from the ceramic capacitors and from the ground pass will be filtered actually and what is the uh, actually the application of each component inside the emi filters if you look at the, this formula actually this one is the reactance of the capacitor so if you look at the, this formula actually this one is the reactance of the capacity uh, and this one is the frequency the frequency uh, has the re inverse relationship to the reactance of the capacitor it means if the frequency go up then the reactance go down this means the capacitors inherently is high pass filters and in comparison the inductive reactance is the uh, is equal to the this formula of course the frequency have a direct relationship to the inductive reactance and it means the one inductor inherently is low pass filters and if we put these two components to the your filters uh, based on the this schematic actually but this the c1 and the c2 are the mkt capacitors there is the one transformator and this one is the two the ceramic capacitors so the amount is not true in this uh, picture of course the structure is completely so which items are important actually in this kind of the filters which items you must to consider it if you want to put uh, emi filters the first of the all is the output current how much the maximum current that uh, from the output of this kind of the filter other one is the input and output of impedance that you uh, use it actually in this uh, EMI filters because the uh, is important how much you have the attenuation uh, based on the input and output 
amp ampedance actually and the almost attenuation is the complexity is clear and other one is the maximum peak voltage that can pass from the this kind of the filter and the other one is the maximum ampere that the uh, each components can tolerate it actually the other one is the free bit that i want to explain it in these courses actually the free bit you can find it in the your charger power line uh, any wire from the data like as USB cable like as the HDMI filters what's the application what is the inside actually the inside the, this kind of the filters is the one coil as I told you the coil inherently is low pass filters and this one is removed high frequency from the radio frequency RF or mobile and handphone noises from the any lines so we use the free beat and what is why we use the free beat because the core of the this kind of the wire actually is made by the free this is the best material for the electromagnetic field actually so let's go to the lab that i show you the emi filters on the power switching circuit okay this one this one and this one all are free bit one of them is the place for the data line of the hdmi cable and this one is the free bit on the actually one adapters or the power supply of the uh, laptop uh, both of them uh, get the, or remove the high frequency on the data and electrical power this one is also with a small one with the low power actually that you can connect it to the one circuit directly and this one is also is the free bit as a smd one you can see that you can uh, connect it on the very uh, small circuit so let's go for the uh, emi filter on the uh, actually practical circuits this one is the one switching power supply that in the next videos actually i try to explain it component by component and and now just i want to explain and define and detect the emi filters here is a uh, you can see uh, input of the power from the power line actually to, to 220 volts uh, this one is the fuse and here is the emi filter to the remove of uh, uh, noises that is added to the power line to actually MKT or polyesters uh, capacitors and one uh, inductor and after that is also go to the other section of uh, actually the circuits and this one is actually is the switching uh, power supplies circuits so let's go to find that the EMI filters in the other uh, circuits this one is also is uh, one power supply with the lower power with the lower power than the this one this one and this one is the emi filter here is the uh, input of the over circuits and other one is also is the same you can see that why we remove some parts of the emi filters because this one the remove the whole of the noise is not necessary and we, we don't want to pay and uh, these circuits should be make it as a low cost thank you for the watching this video and hopefully this one was the worst for you please follow us and drop the comments for us thank you